What is up designers? Welcome to my Photoshop tutorial. So the other day I was looking at this book, right? And it's a book called How to Change Your Mind by Michael Pollan. And I was inspired by the book cover that you see here and was just thinking like, wow, where, where was this taken? And it struck me this could actually not be a photograph at all. Uh, because it's very simple to replicate and I just jumped into Photoshop and made it myself and it looked exactly the same. So I wanted to share with you guys on how to make this book cover design uh, in Photoshop and uh, see if you can do it as well. So let's jump in. So let's begin by creating a new file and I'm gonna press create. So first of all, if I'm getting inspired by some design, I wanna analyze it and see what it's made of. So as we can see, the background is completely dark. Then we have a, uh, a shape, a sky image, and slight bars right here that are probably metal or concrete that have reflection. And then we have text, but we're not gonna work on the text in this tutorial, so let's skip that part. And that's it, basically. So all we need to do is take these parts and replicate them in, in an exactly the same way. So how do we do that? Well, first of all, let's start with a background. So let's take the color. This color is completely black, so if you double click here, it should say totally zeros here in hex code uh, or just you drag this down all the way and press ok then press alt or option backspace and that will paint your canvas in the color that you've chosen next up we want to go ahead and create this shape so i'm going to just drag this file over here so that i can see what kind of shape it is i'm going to create a new layer control or command shift n or you can just simply go over here and press this little button and it will create a new layer. I'm gonna rename this layer into shape and then I'm gonna select my uh, polygonal lasso tool or L for shortcut. And I'm gonna try and replicate this shape right here. So I'm gonna click start from here. Then I'm gonna click here, down here. Try to be parallel and then connect the dot and I'm gonna select another color just any color doesn't matter just has to be different than black one and alt or option backspace control or command D to deselect the selection and there we have it our shape is ready so next what I want to do is I want to go ahead and import a sky photograph and make a clipping mask. So I'm gonna put this over my newly made shape, press enter, and then if I go over here, right in the middle of these two layers, and press Alt or Option, I will see a little icon come up, and that is the clipping mask icon, and just, if I just click, it will clip onto the layer. So what that does is basically this top image will only appear wherever it, this image is. Meaning if I drag it here, it will only appear in the window of the shape. Okay, so another way to do that is just right click the layer and create clipping mask. Uh, so once we've done that, we basically need to add uh, these bars right here. And we do that by creating custom shapes. So let's create a new layer again. Control Shift N or Command Shift N if you're using Mac and uh, let's call, call it bar one. I'm gonna select my polygonal lasso tool again, zoom in a little bit and try to draw a little bar, metal bar right here. Don't worry if you go over the lines, it's fine. And then we have to connect this where we started. So once you are near, it will appear a little circle here and then just click that and you have your selection. Then I'm gonna go ahead and select another color, just different, something different, so I can see where it's at. Alt or Option Backspace, and then Control or Command D to deselect. Uh, so now I need to create the clipping mask again, pressing down Alt or Option key, and moving my mouse in between these layers, I will click and it will cr create the clipping mask right here. So and now, as you can see, this bar ends right here and so I want to cut this part out so I'm gonna go here and select my rectangular marquee tool go over here 
select this area, delete. So make sure the, the layer that you want to delete from is selected. And there we go. So now we can start off with creating our second bar, which is this part right here. So I'm going to create a new layer, Control or Command Shift N, and call it bar 2. Select my uh, polygonal lasso tool again, L for shortcut. Try to draw from here so that it is somewhat parallel. And then go over here like this and connect it. And then I want to select another color, maybe blue, Alt or Option Backspace to fill it up. And then I want to make a clipping mask again, Option or Alt in between these layers, click, and you have this blue bar hanging on here. And I want to uh, move this bar right below the first bar because this is the first that, that appears, okay? So now that we have all our shapes in place, we may add texture to make it look like the concrete or metal that it is. And I have just the right texture for that. So I'm going to go ahead and drag my texture in here. And I'm going to put it right here. So notice that my texture is over the image. If I create the clipping mask like we did, it's also going to go over the sky, which we don't want. So what we need to do here is create uh, what is called layer mask. And that's done by using this button right here. And we need to simply select the area that we want it to appear in. So I'm going to hold down control or command button and then click the first bar's thumbnail somewhere here. Just click that and then press this little Japanese flag while you have the texture layer selected. Okay, so now if we zoom in, we still see a little bit of red behind it. Since we already got this down, we don't need this layer anymore, so we might as well just remove it altogether. We need to basically do the same thing for the other bar. And I'm gonna go ahead and drag in the texture once again, move it over so that it covers the second bar, press enter to place it, make a clipping mask, and then control or command click the bar two, and then click the Japanese flag. And that will create my second texture. And we're almost done. We just need to add a little bit of flair to it. What I mean by that is we need to add these highlights that you see here. This is a reflection coming from the sun as well as the sky. And then we have to add some shadows here in the area where the sunlight is not hitting. And that will make the image way more realistic than it is right now. So to do that, all I need to do is to create a new layer, call it highlights, and then create a clipping mask, select a bright orange or reddish color, something like this, press OK, and then go over here and color this area where you think the sun will be hitting mostly. So now we, we see that the color is also going over the sky, which we don't want. What we can do here is copy the mask that is here by pressing down Alt or Option key and dragging this over to the layer of the, of the highlights. So do that, and then you will instantly have this perfectly aligned color. Now, obviously, this color is way too much, and we need to reduce the opacity. So select the color layer and then reduce the opacity down to about 25%. Okay, so now it is very orange. It's okay, but we can make it, we can improve it even further by uh, adjusting the color. And the way I do that is I simply copy this layer by pressing down Control or Command J. I copy it, I make a, a clipping mask again, and I double click the layer go to color overlay and select the color from the sky. So this is going to be 
up to you which color fits the most because your sky photo may be a little bit different, but essentially you want to select something like light blue. So I'm going to go over and select this color and press OK. And there we have it. So this is a mixture of uh, orange and blue, which is sun and the sky. So that's perfect. And uh, if you want, you can adjust the opacity to be a little bit more or less. You can add more layers if you want to, or you can even add another layer with more uh, white to it so that it gives it an even more brighter color. But I'm going to stop here for now and move her over to my right bar. So uh, my right bar or the second bar needs to be a little bit darker and I need to work on the bar from here, this side. So I'm going to go ahead and create a new layer and call it shadow. And uh, I will select dark color here. And uh, also I need to click here with alt or option key pressed and move this mask over here so that I also paint only on this bar. So I'm just going to paint over this bar completely black, no problem, and then reduce the opacity down to, I don't know, maybe 50, maybe even more. Somewhere like that looks good. Okay. So now we can see that this is taking uh, form a little bit. We can see that we have a little bit of uh, dent here or a dark line that goes in the middle that denotes this is the middle or where they are parting. So we can create something like that, but simply creating a new layer, call it line, and then going into it, selecting my rectangular marquee tool, and then just selecting this part, Alt or Option Backspace with your black color selected. And then I'm gonna just move this down a little bit and if you zoom out, it looks just fine. You can, you can reduce the opacity, of course, to make it a little bit more realistic. And then this should do the trick. Uh, now, if you think that your bars are a little bit maybe too thick or they're not quite uh, nicely shaped, you can just select all of these layers that we made. You may want to just leave the sky layer out Control or Command T, and then just move this around. Just adjust it as you like. You can even go over here in the corner and rotate it if you think they are not quite symmetrical. Press Enter, and that's going to do it for the, for the image. So as you can see, we basically replicated the original image of the book cover. If you want, you can add book title and give it white color author name for instance and then basically you have made yourself a book cover obviously there are a few more details such as this line here if you want you can add that as well but i'm gonna stop here i hope you guys enjoyed this video and learned something new thanks for watching and if you enjoy watching these kinds of videos consider subscribing as i make similar type of videos every week thanks and i'll see you in the next one